hey, let's dive in on another a birthday reading, shall we? From the Secret Language of Birthdays book. Yeah. For May 11th, the day of the frequent flyer. Hey, if today is May 11th and it's your birthday, I just want to say to you, happy birthday. And if your birthday was long since passed, well, I hope you had a happy birthday. Uh, for everyone else to join us just out of curiosity, I just want to say welcome and I uh, hope you enjoy yourself. Um, so for those born on May 11th, your month is May, your day is 11. Your sign is 20 to 22 degrees Taurus and your period is Taurus 3 specifically, the first day of Taurus 3. And your element of qualities is fixed earth. So let's dive in. May 11th, the day of the frequent flyer. Those born on May 11th have a most unusual way of seeing the world. They may attract undue attention if they voice their feelings in public or act on their fantasies, so they often keep them under wraps. The most extreme of those born on this day, however, will go so far as to unabashedly flaunt their eccentricities. Indeed, family and friends may hold their breath when, May 11th, when a May 11th person speaks and raise their eyebrows after he or she has spoken. May 11 people run the gamut from the slightly eccentric to those who seem to come from another planet. The one thing they have in common, however, is their gift of fantasy, which unleashed can run wild. The most successful of those born on this day can make their dreams and imagination work for them realistically. Indeed, some May 11 people have a real talent for cashing in on unusual thoughts, but nonetheless must maintain credibility with the empowered who can help them succeed. If those born on this day are objective enough to present ideas which may be believed by their listeners or found interesting or useful, they stand a good chance of receiving appreciation and reward. On the other hand, if they deluge others with a constant barrage of fanciful schemes and unworkable projects, they may be giving free reign to their creativity, but misjudging their audience. The danger is that friends and family of such May 11 people will put them in the harmless category, smile at what they say, but rarely take them seriously. This patronizing attitude can wound May 11 people even more deeply than they than being wound rather. It can wound May 11 people even more deeply than being ignored completely. If others treat them in this fashion, those born on this day may begin to lose respect for themselves or even desperately try to appear normal, thereby suppressing their real nature in vain in an attempt to fit in. May 11 people value that special individual who understands them deeply and allows them to be natural without censure or judgment. Looking at it from an objective point of view, it is true that when telling stories, May 11th people enlarge, embellish, and sometimes even mythologize events and characters. A skillful listener, close friend, or associate can recognize a tall tale and separate fact from fiction. The more gullible, however, may just swallow stories hook, line, and sinker. May 11th people are capable of sticking to the facts in matters of concern but it would be a great mistake to take everything they say literally. Usually there's no harm involved in uh, May 11 people making life a little more colorful. They are most often acting without guile. If anything, those born on this day are more guilty of conceit than deceit. They build themselves up because underneath it all, they are lacking a bit of self-confidence and need support and affection. This is an underlying reason why they seek the attention of others in such childlike ways, by telling stories or acting outrageously. Luckily, their innate charm gets them through most of the difficulties they get into. All right. Hey, I can identify with you if, if that kind of speaks to who you are. I empathize, all right? So let's move on to those born on this day. Let's see whose names I butcher. All right. Martha Graham. She was a dancer, choreographer, and she created the new American modern dance language. Salvador Dali. He was a Spanish surrealist artist, sculptor, and writer. 
King Oliver, New Orleans jazz cornetist and a band leader, Baron von Muchausen, he was a German 18th century storyteller, prevaricator, a syndrome named after him. Let's see here. Camilo José Sila, a Spanish Nobel Prize winning novelist of the family of Pascual Duarte. Irving Berlin, a songwriter, a centrarian. I think that means he was 100. Um, let's see. Andre Gregory, stage director, actor, writer. Margaret Rutherford, British actor, stage actress, or British stage film actress. Carla Blay, jazz pianist, composer. Anthony Hewish, it was a British Nobel Prize winning radio astronomer, editor of Seeing Beyond the Invisible. Marco Ferreri, Italian director, Tales of Ordinary Madness, he was also a producer and an actor. We got Eric Burdone, a singer songwriter of The Animals. Uh, autobiography is I Used to Be an Animal, but I'm All Right Now. J.C. Higgin Botham, was a jazz trombotist, botist, bonist rather. Phil Silvers, comedian, TV actor. We got Mort Saul, comedian. Charlie Gearinger, a baseball AL batting champion, general manager, and a Hall of Famer. Yaakov Agam, Israeli painter. Walter DeVoe, a healer. Walter, uh, no, Peter Camper, Dutch 18th century autonomist. And Jersey Daraki probably got that wrong it was a polish theater director all right now you know a few of the names of the people also born on that day let's move on to your numbers and your planets all right those born on the 11th of the month are ruled by the number two as one plus one equals two and by the moon those ruled by the number two often make good co-workers and partners rather than leaders but the highly unusual nature of those born on this day perhaps makes them best suited for freelance work, small business ownership, or highly independent occupations. The imaginative qualities of May 11 are further enhanced by the influence of the moon, which may also convey strongly reflective and passive tendencies. Those born on this day are lent added charm by Venus, the ruler of Taurus, along with a sensitivity for materials. People born on the 11th of the month often take an interest in doubles of various kinds, to say twins, coincidences, symmetry, and the like. All right, let's move on to your tarot. The 11th card, the major arcana, is justice. A serene woman seated holding the scales in one hand and the sword in the other. She reminds us of the order of the universe and that balance and harmony will be maintained in our lives as long as we continue on our path. The positive aspects of this card are integrity, fairness, honesty, and discipline. The negative aspects are low initiative, impersonality, fear of innovation, and grievances. All right, let's move on to your health. Because of the powerful imagination of May 11 children, it may sometimes be difficult for their parents to know when they are truly sick or not and to distinguish an emergency situation from a minor one. The trick, of course, is for the parent to understand the child's story patterns and psychology. As adults, May 11 people are usually more than capable of taking care of themselves, even tending to be exceptionally long-lived, but may exhibit hypochondriacal behavior. No, I mispronounced that one. Those born on this day often have extreme dietary preferences, but nonetheless manage to remain remarkably healthy. All right, here's some advice. Who could ever tell you what to do? Attempt to speak the language of others from time to time to gain credibility. Don't give all your fantasies away. Be selective in your plans and projects and keep some measure of objective control over your imagination if possible. All right, here is your meditation. The naming of some things as important and others as unimportant is only a value judgment, a product of human ego. Okay, let's move on to your strengths and your weaknesses. Your strengths, your imaginative, creative, fun-loving. Your weaknesses, 
unrealistic, out of touch, and isolated. All right, your season is spring, and once again, you're a Taurus, a Taurus 3 specifically, and your elemental qualities is fixed earth. Um, I put a uh, affiliate link down in the uh, description if you're interested in getting this book. Uh, it makes a great coffee table book, uh, icebreaker, um, great for parties, people dive in, find out about themselves. I mean, it sold a million copies for a reason, or over rather. Uh, so uh, I know when they first read it for me, some friends, I was, uh, I didn't think it was true. I was like, that could apply to anybody. But they says, no, man, that's, that's you to a T. And after some introspection, I was like, yeah, I'm kind of apt to agree. So um, any event, hey, go pick you up a copy if you want to have something that people can kind of gather around and have some fun with. Other than that, if it's May 11th and it's your birthday, I want to say, Happy birthday once again. And for everyone else who's joined us out of curiosity, I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I hope to see you again soon on your birthday. All right. Take care.